Hello and welcome to the Kinetic Networks YouTube channel. My name is uh, Chris or T. Today I'm going to be going over how you can set up and install the Kinetic Anti-Cheat. Uh, we did already have one, which is this here, this one here, but um, this is now sort of redundant with the latest update. Um, so hence, we're making a new one. Uh, so what you do is make sure you're running the latest version. Uh, Note, we do not support the 1.10 version anymore. It still works, but we don't support it. So you need to make sure you're running 7.3.0 or 12.2.1. You can see they've literally just been released. Um, so make sure you're running those uh, when setting up or above, of course, because I don't know if our update is in the next update. So they've come with a number of improvements with ways we're checking stuff. Um, they also come, whoops, didn't mean to press on that. Uh, they've also come with a improvement where it no longer kicks you for single player modifications. So for, it used to kick you if you modified your client and then just try to start a single player world. It doesn't do that anymore. There's a couple of other extra little uh, fixes and issues that have been sorted out in there as well. So it's worth using the latest version. Right. So just going to quickly go over how the anti cheat works and then I'll dive straight in to how to set it up. So what the anti-cheat works is it has a whitelist of a pre-approved mod stored on the server side. If a mod tries to connect that isn't on the pre-approved mod list, uh, the client will be kicked. So if you have a, it doesn't ban anyone, by the way, that's down to you. Uh, didn't want to put any banning system in just in case, you know, someone connects with a mod that isn't in the whitelist, it's perfectly innocent and they get banned for it. That's not great. Um, so, the idea is if you have a mod pack, you've got, say, in your in your mod pack, iron chests, forestry, thorncraft, right? That's your mod pack. If someone connects with just those mods, they'll be allowed through fine. If someone connects with, like, X-Ray, or if you're on a Pixelmon server, Pokey Radar, they'll be kicked because it's not on the whitelist. Um, it's not 100% foolproof. We don't claim that. There will be ways around it. Um, but we are updating it and making it better and better over the coming updates to try and fix as many problems as we can. So... This is how you install it. It's really easy. We're just going to minimize all this out because I actually started recording it before and, and, and balls it all up. So um, you're going to want to put it on your server. So this is just our server here. You're going to put it in your mods folder. Uh, for this example, our mod pack is going to have iron chests as what we're classing as innocent mods. So this is a mod we want players to join with. Um, so this would be any mod that's in your mod pack. So um, yeah, so any mod. And then we're going to use X-Ray as our dirty mod, a mod we don't want people to join with. So what you could do is put both of these in here and we're just going to start the server, like so. And then also you're going to want to put it on your clients. So if you're running a mod pack or something, you can just put it in the clients here. For sake of easy, I'm just going to stick it in our colony mod pack here. So there we go. And we've got our innocent mod here. And we're just going to press play. There we go. Right, okay, server started. So now the server started, server side, you should notice you have an illegal clients folder like so, which will probably be empty for now. And in your config, you have cac.xml. You can just open this up with notepad++ or any other editor, it's fine. By default, it will whitelist forge and itself. Uh, apart from that, nothing else will be whitelisted. I'm just gonna drop these down here so it's just a little bit easier to read. You don't have to do this at all. It's just for my sanity. Right, so the, what we're going to do to set this up, we're going to turn the server on and we're just going to join it, like so. And now we get kicked. So you go, you can see we've been kicked for having what it thinks is an illegal client. Now, now that we've been kicked, we can go back to our server, we can go to our illegal clients, open it up, and you can see Iron Chess mod ID is here now. So if you've connected with multiple mods or a huge array of mods, this will probably be a bit of a mess and it'll be spewed all over here. So what you want to do is after player name, just select all of that, however many there are, just keep copying them. And then you can copy them all at once. You can go into here and just paste them. And that's it. So what that's done is pasted all of your mod IDs. Now before you used to have to remove numbers often so, and that's it. Um, that's all you need to do now. Just copy the contents of this into here um so like i said if there's like thorncraft and you know optifine forestry you know whatever hell mods that you want that's fine you need to do is save this out you don't need this anymore and then we could just delete that as well and then what we could do is restart the server now Take for it to come back on, it's been a bit slow. There we go. So this will now reload your new list of mods that you've created. Now, if we try and join the server again, it will allow us in perfectly fine, absolutely no problems. Boom. Now, 
that is the whole thing set up that's it it's done if you have any updates or make any updates to the mods and add new mods in obviously you have to add them to that list as well just redo what i've just done join the server with the mods in and then just copy and paste it in now i'm just going to demonstrate what happens now when someone joins with x-ray so i'm just going to put x-ray on my client um, or any other cheap mod or any other mod you don't want it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be x-ray let's close that down just put that in here and we're just gonna boot the pack up now what this will do is now block me from joining the server with x-ray and will log it in that illegal clients folder we just saw so if you want then you can then decide to ban them if you want or whatever you can just let the illegal clients build up and empty them it's up to you but it'd be impossible to join with this mod installed now um if it just loads there we go so you see we've got x-ray loaded should be under mods shouldn't it once it not show up under mods yep we've got x-ray loaded multiplayer we just go to join oh there we go just got kicked and then it doesn't matter how many times we try and join the server keep joining just keep trying to join you ain't gonna get in and down in here in the illegal clients not there in the server there we go you see it's logged all of our login attempts it's logged the time my minecraft username which is sleeping t98 and you can also see what illegal mods they've tried to join with and that's it that's all you need to do to set up it's that easy um if you need any help with it just let us know uh down in the comments and if you want to use it in your mod pack that's perfectly fine but please make sure you link back to this page and please credit me and game gunner 5 thank you very much and i'll uh see you again